good morning it's day 4 of our ride and today we are riding from Kargil to Leh and we are waking up for a chilly morning it's 2 degrees uh, temperature here let me just go out and show you guys around this is the view right outside our room snow cap mountain right there and all of them are still sleepy I believe none of them are awake there's another riding group who were staying in the same resort those are the bikes uh, they all came on uh, Royal Enfield Scram so it's about uh, 7.30 in the morning we start from here at 10 o'clock no. we ride so far Let's see how it goes today. A few moments later. So now it's moment of celebration. Himanshu is here, which is a backup van. And see there, a backup van is come. And uh, yes, Asif Bhai, everybody's come. And finally, we can have a new set of clothes. Everybody is celebrating now. So I can finally use a new pair of socks as well, which is drying here, which is stinking like no man's land. This has become like a anesthesia, general anesthesia. <laughs> so everybody is celebrating now. New pair of clothes have arrived. <laughs> yes. So day four starts, and today we are off to Ladakh. And uh, all our thermals, whatever needs have come out and finally we got our backup car today after two days which is a good news and from here hopefully we'll have our uh, backup van with us all the time. So you can still see the snow cap mountain. So let's go. So our journey to LA starts and starts with a beautiful corner. Nice. So it's gonna be beautiful curvy road that we'll probably ride today. And best part here in this particular stretch is you can actually gauge your curve in advance where are you heading what's the curve like you can plan it and go only in few places you will find blind curves where you need to be careful but otherwise you can plan your curve in advance they're brilliant curves very well maintained roads and um, it's just a fun ride well all these are some of them are new roads and some of them were the old road itself and to my left hand side you can see some mountains and you have some roads all of those roads are not accessible to the public only few of them are and rest of them would be for uh, army people only now this feels like Transformer movies. Every time I come here, I have this feeling. This is absolutely fantastic. This feels like I'm in Transformer kind of a zone back in you know the Stone Age days. Beautiful. Just uh, absolutely fantastic. This is. Wow. And there's one particular place where you will see the stone color changes and only that particular hill is purple color or that particular entire uh, peak is purple color 
Hopefully I'll get that uh, on our way and I'll stop to get some good footage there. So the entire valley here is like this with mountain on both the side and beautiful scenic view and this curvy and crazy twisty windy road. This is absolutely madness road this is. And um, sometimes you also get uh, the water flowing onto your right. Um, it's not too much now, but sometimes it'll be like heavy water as well on your right hand side. Look at this crazy vast nature. Wow. Oh, that's the beauty of this mountain you know this keeps calling you back and this is my seventh time coming here and every time I come here I just see this from a different perspective different view um, you know the experience is different the learning is different and every time I come here I learn something there's learning every time I'm here every time I come I learn from uh, this place something or the other and it's also the urge of riding in different motorcycles that brings me back here. So I've ridden in different kind of motorcycles in this terrain. Um, right from Royal Enfield to Mahindra Mojo to Dominor to uh, Himalayan. And uh, also an electric scooter. You can't imagine on an electric scooter and now on the next pulse and now if you see that particular mountain has a different color altogether which has a grey shade here's our first break at Mulbek and check out this place Eman Bhai Ha. So, this is the temple of Buddhist monastery. Hai. Buddhist monastery or Buddha statue. Ha. So, this is the best part. Is, the entire stone is carved in a, a Buddhist uh, manner. Beautiful place. And very few people know because they don't stop in the corner. But only when you stop here will you understand the beauty of this. And you can go offer your prayers before you go to Khardungla. Get the blessings and then go ahead to Khardungla. So, that's the beauty. A few moments later. So look at that. The weather is completely changed and it's raining ahead. So Heman just informed. And look at the statue there. It looks like a monkey sitting with its baby. So beautiful and got some bikers also on our way. So yeah, look at that. Superb that is. I don't know, that's my way of looking at it feels like there's a monkey uh, with its baby sitting nice and the weather here is now getting extremely cold extremely cold last night in Kargil it went all the way down till zero degree and uh, here I'm not too sure what's the temperature for now
so we just stopped because we have to put this uh, bag uh, which is wet, getting wet on the ba backup car i don't know i'm repeating this for the fourth time i believe because of the battery issue there is hail storm here and uh, it's not rain it's mix of both in fact so we are close to namikla pass now emen bhai dance dikhao namikla pass jane se pehle are wa sahi hai sahi hai to chalo let's go to namikla pass let's go today towards ladakh and whoa so as we go ahead the rains continue when well, everybody is wearing their rain coat i am not because i'm using the RS Tai Chi Dry Master ADV riding gear, which is a waterproof riding gear as well. So you don't need not wear a separate liner again. So this itself is the waterproof jacket, so which is a beautiful thing for all the riders because you don't have to stop if suddenly it starts raining or something. You just uh, keep riding, while others have to sometimes stop or you know whenever it rains they have to stop and make sure they wear their rain liner. In this case, that's not needed. Uh, my hands and all are completely freezing now, especially the tips, all the fingertips are freezing, cold and like pricking, like that pricking cold. Oh. Oh. and there's a huge power drop on the motorcycle also as we are climbing high there's a huge power drop and that is heavy and when i'm accelerating the acceleration has become slow the pickup has dropped and that will be like this as and when we keep continuing to climb up so from here after namikla pass we will go towards lamayur and then we have futula pass and then we have um uh there is magnetic hill okay, so these are the things that we'll get today on our way my fingers are completely completely numbish paining it's like i can't tell i can't express what exactly is that feeling and uh, i can't imagine how these guys are actually Uh, taking it i'm wearing one of these uh, um like warmer ja uh, you know gloves so we are almost reaching namikla pass i think it will be less than a kilometer or not even a kilometer and it's freezing cold i'm telling you it's freezing cold my fingers are completely numb i can't even feel gopro button when i'm trying to press it you know not even able to figure it out what's happening turn it off this is like unbelievably cold and it's just pricking it all my fingers are paining all the 10 fingers and this is namikla pass this is a 12198 feet about sea level and here we come namikla pass 12198 yeah oh yo we are at namikla pass which is an altitude of 12198 about sea level and it's freezing cold freezing cold we had hail storm a little earlier as well <laughs> and uh yeah yeah this will be minus let me just check that out and uh, you see the camera is fogging out and next we have lamayur and then futula pass as well <laughs> 